Good afternoon, welcome to the shed. It's a lovely, bright, but cold afternoon. So uh, earlier this week, I had a phone call. Um, going back to last year, uh, I spoke to a guy at the market, the flea market, who said he had a load of planes that he'd sell me. So, you know, and I thought, well, maybe he has, maybe he hasn't, maybe he's pulling my leg, I don't know. Anyway, I gave him my number and he wrote it on the back of a fag packet. Earlier this week, I got a phone call. I didn't think I'd hear from him again um, to say, that he'd sorted out his planes and he would, would I like to buy them. So I met him this morning, seven o'clock uh, at the market. He's allowed, to, he's allowed to sell garden stuff now. So he was uh, quite happy about that. Um, markets aren't fully open, but you know. Anyway, so I went and had a look. He'd already told me what I'd got, I'd done my research, got a price in mind. I paid quite a lot because he knew they were worth money, uh, but still, um, there's still a steal, really, hopefully. Okay, so I bought 11 planes. Uh, you can guess how much I paid down below when you've seen them. Uh, let's get you over to the bench and let's go through what we got. Okay, so this is my box of goodies. There are 11 planes of assorted varieties in here. Let's go through and I'll show you what I got. I've got to decide what to do with them. I need to try and get some of my money back, so I won't be keeping them all, especially as there's a couple that are doubled up. Um, and there's also some of similar type, although they're not doubles. I don't need two rabbit planes or four rabbit planes actually. So I'll be selling a couple of those. So if you're interested in buying them, I'll link down below to my eBay's. Okay, first one is this. I'm gonna have to just stop the dog from making so much noise. I didn't say that these are mainly record planes um, with a couple of Stanleys. The records are the British British version of Stanley's basically. Good quality, Sheffield steel. Okay, so that's number one. This is, I believe, a record number 77. However, it looks slightly different in the body to some of the ones I've seen online. It says on there, record British. And this is, I suppose you call it a, a, a shoulder or a rabbit plane. Uh, pretty good, Nick. Very easy to take apart. There you go. I won't go into detail. So when when I uh, as I do these up, I will do a video for each one that I do. Okay, so that's number one. Okay, number two. I'm just doing them as they come out of the box. No particular order. So this is a record 2506S in its box. And this is a double-sided rabbit plane or uh, edging plane for doing uh, you know, for cleaning up edges basically on, on shoulder joints. Good Nick, give that a clean up. Probably sell that one, although it is quite a nice little fine plane. It's got a little fence underneath that you can switch from side to side. And an adjustable, in fact, you can actually take the, uh, the front off so you can use it as a, a chisel effectively to get right into corners. So actually, maybe I'll keep that one. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, instructions are in the box all good if you want to sell them go for about 40 quid these do quite rare okay as I do them up as I say I'll give you more information on each one okay next up this one's a Stanley so this is a Stanley 50 s which is the same as the 50 but you get less blades I think the idea was that you would buy the extra blades yourself which whoever owned this has done because I've got a full set of 15 16 blades there I've got the fence and the height adjuster as well so this means that I can probably get rid of my Lewin that thing which I wasn't super happy about and also I haven't got any blades for so I can get some money back on that one my, my plan is to try and get all my money back that I paid for these planes, but still keep half of them. If I can do that, I'll be laughing. So next up is two record number 71s. Uh, 
one in box. However, the box is basically going to get thrown away because it's so bad that I will have to throw it away. So one of these will be going on eBay. In fact, I'm going to chuck that now. It's not worth keeping, I don't think. Uh, yeah, so two of those. Three blades with one. So I'll probably clean that one up and keep that for myself. Oh, it's also got the uh, the pointy blade. I can't remember what you call that, but that's really useful. Feels pretty sharp as well. So just give those a clean. We'll be ready to go. And then this one, which has got, got the fence, but no screw to hold it in place. So this one will be going on eBay. I'll stick a link down below to my eBay things. I'll probably just give it a quick clean, but I'm not going to refurbish it. I'll leave that to the new owner. So two of those, there were supposed to be three, but uh, when he got it out, he realized it actually wasn't what he thought it was. So we didn't get that one. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five so far. Next up, a record 018 in its box with knuckle joint, lever cap, adjustable mouth and chromed fittings. Quite a nice one, this one. I had a little sneaky look at this. So it's basically a standard block plane, but with the adjustable mouth. Uh, I think you can just do it. So I don't know if you can see that moving, but that is working. Good nick. Not sure what the age is. Clean that one up. Again, don't know if I'll sell it yet. We'll see. But it's a good little plane. Those also go for about 40, 40 plus actually. Okay, let's stick that one over there. Uh, next up, there's another Stanley plane, similar to that one, super low angle. This is called a Stanley 60 and a half, and that is adjustable. This one seems to have brass knobs, but the ones I've seen on uh, on the interweb have got uh, just normal alloy knobs. Again, adjustable throat, super low angle on that one, so I probably will keep that one because I haven't got a super low angle, but it's a nice little plane, isn't it? And that may re replace one of my existing ones. So um, I've obviously got, I don't want to double up, so I will end up selling some, some of these, either these ones or my existing ones. So for example, this one's very similar to a 110. I've got a 220 as well. So that one will probably get cleaned and sold. Not worth a lot, probably 15 quid. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three more to go. Now these ones are, these are the most expensive ones I think. These are collectible. So this one is a record number 311. It's a bullnose rabbit plane, I think you would call it, but it has a detachable front. So this piece here can come off. So you can use it as an open chisel plane, which would be really useful for going into corners. Uh, and then you've got a shorter version as well. So. I guess one's bull nose, one's rab rabbit, and one's chisel is, is how you would describe that. Blades all look good on all of these, actually. So, yeah, very happy with that one. Can't remember what they go for. It says 30 quid on there. But uh, I uh, probably paid about that. I'm not going to give any clues. But definitely go for a lot more than that. 60 plus. And then another two, finally. This is a record number 42 which is a straight shoulder plane, big one. Go for a lot of money, these, 80 quid plus. Good nick, clean that up, probably sell. I think probably what I'll do is keep the uh, 311 because that does all things and sell that one, which is the 42. And then finally, I've got another bigger one, which is a 73, 073. That's got some kind of adjustment on it. Oh yeah, that's got an adjustable throat on it. So you can adjust this gap here using this screw here and the screw on the top. So you loosen it on the top and adjust it through there. So you can do really fine work. It's a heavy little bugger that is. Again, blade looks nice and sharp. These have all been pretty well looked after uh, and that'll clean up very easily. Okay, there you go. Okay, so what do you think of that little haul then? That's uh, pretty cool. Uh, I also bought a little little uh, dovetail saw that is very old, very tired, 
but it is a uh, Sorby, which is a Sheffield make. Really, really good, these are. But uh, I've got a brass back to it. I think it'll clean up nicely. I'm not sure if it's supposed to have this uh, cutaway here, if, or whether that's just been sharpened to within an inch of its life. It might have been, but I think it's still usable. Nice little thing anyway, it'll clean up nice. Uh, I bought one of these, not sure really why, but I thought I might need one. Okay, so be interested to hear what you think. Please let me know down below what you think I paid and uh, what you think of my collection. And uh, yeah, check them out on eBay, the ones that I do decide to sell. It won't all be in one go because I'll do them up and then, and then sell them, but definitely gonna put one of these 71s on there fairly soon. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Uh, I'll link to some other videos here for you to have a little look at uh, and see you soon. Cheers.